In this video, I'll show how to create virtual Ethernet adapters on IBM I and create a simple network of two IBM I partitions. So let's talk a little bit about the terminology that we'll be using throughout this video. A virtual Ethernet adapter is a virtual device that allows a partition to send and receive network traffic, much like a physical adapter, except that there are no physical devices assigned to a partition. A virtual network is a collection of these virtual Ethernet adapters, and a network is identified by a VLAN ID that we assign to it. Virtual switch. So on the power system server, the hypervisor provides an in-memory switch. By default, its name is Ethernet 0. If you want, you can rename that switch, and you can create multiple switches. But you can define multiple networks within a single switch. They're just separated by a VLAN ID number. All partitions that are assigned to a specific VLAN ID can talk just to each other and not to the other VLANs. So networks, uh, virtual network that we'll define in this video will have two IBMI partitions, LPAR-A, LPAR-B, and that will be defined. Uh, a virtual adapter will be defined for each of those partitions and configured to VLAN 20. So as far as the setup is concerned, we will use the HMC's interface as well as IBM I to complete the setup. From the HMC, we will first create virtual Ethernet adapters, assign a VLAN ID, and on the IBM I partition, we will identify the communication resource that was created from the previous step, create a line description over it, create a new IP interface, vary on the interface, and test connectivity. So let's jump right into the demo portion. Here I'm using HMC with version V8R8.5, which is using, and I'm logged in to the enhanced plus interface. Um, through this HMC, I only have one system that is managed. In this case, VLAN 20 does not exist, so I have to first go through that step. So click on the server, and under Power VM, click on Virtual Networks. As you can see, VLAN 20 does not exist. So I'll click on Add Virtual Network. I'll give it a name. This is not a bridged network. It's an internal network. Give it a VLAN ID. Click on Next and I'll complete the setup. Notice that the switch it's creating the network in is Ethernet 0. So now we created a new virtual network. Let's go create some virtual Ethernet adapters. So go back to the server. I'll be working with this partition. Click on that. Click on virtual networks in that partition. So this one shows that there's already a virtual Ethernet adapter on VLAN ID 3000. I want to create a new one. So I click on manage network connections. Show and assign new virtual Ethernet adapters. I pick the virtual network I want to work with. And for virtual Ethernet adapter ID, next available is fine. Okay, so there we go, it created a new adapter. Now I can also click on adapter view and sees that it is called CMN25 on VLAN 20. Now let's switch over to the IBMI partition. First thing I'll do is go hardware, communication resource, and I see CMN25 here. That is my partition ID. That is the adapter ID. I confirm that it was created. Now I want to create a line description over this resource. Just 
check all the defaults and we'll confirm that device is created we can vary it on to see that it's responding now we defined a line and description let's create an interface I'm using dot eight because that's the partition I'm using. Uh, you can choose any address that you have available. Let's try and start it up. And it's active now. So at this stage, I perform the same setup on a different partition. And I'm back on the server under virtual networks and I'm looking at demo to see all the connected partitions. And you can see that there are two partitions that are connected to this virtual network. Now I'm on the second partition and I'm ran through the configurations on the green screen and I'll run a quick ping test to see if I'm able to get any response from the remote system and I got a successful verification so that concludes the demo portion of this video now the network we just defined in this video is an internal network these partitions cannot talk outside of each other if you want to connect this virtual network to the outside world, what you one of the ways you can do this is by creating a shared Ethernet adapter on BIOS. So in the diagram here, I'm showing a third partition BIOS, a, virtu a virtual input output server, and I have a physical Ethernet adapter assigned to VIOS server that is connected to a network switch that gives me outside connectivity. On BIOS, I created a virtual Ethernet adapter and I connected all of this together with a shared Ethernet adapter. Once the virtual Ethernet adapter is connected to VLAN 20, VLAN 20 becomes a bridged network because any partition that's connected to this VLAN can now get access to the external network without requiring any physical devices of their own. See, using this technique, you can reduce the number of physical adapters you need on your system to connect multiple partitions to the outside world. So that concludes this presentation. I hope it was useful. Um, I primarily used IBM Knowledge Center and IBM Systems Magazine's articles on BIOS and Bridge Network for this video. Please give me your feedback and comments. My email address and uh, LinkedIn profile are on the title of this presentation. Thank you.